Hi everyone, my name is Paul Weaver. It's a great joy today to be able to talk to you and to share in this very important month of prayer, the month of March. Have you ever found prayer difficult? Most people will not really own up to that because they think it actually makes a reference to their uh, poor spirituality. But actually the truth is prayer can be very difficult sometimes, not easy at all. And in this series, we have used the phrase, prayer is the Christian's vital breath. But sometimes we can talk about prayer more easily than actually do it. And sometimes prayer can be much more difficult than just breathing naturally. The Bible, however, does not duck the difficulty in prayer, but rather shows us people in deep problematic situations in life, pressing through in prayer to actually realize amazing outcomes. And this morning I just want to encourage you, if you're one of those that are finding prayer difficult, I just want to leave three words with you that I hope will be a blessing to you. The first one is promise. Jesus, when he was talking about prayer, used these words. He said, ask and it shall be given you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open to you. Prayer has a promise. When you engage with God, God is promising to come to your situation and your prayer and find a solution for you. So the promise is attached to prayer intrinsically. It will be given you. The door will be opened. Breakthrough will come. When all the chips seem to be down and uh, delay seems to be forever, and sometimes it's like that, there is a promise from Jesus waiting on his table for to be fulfilled in your life. And so I want you to remember that when you're praying through, prayer has a promise. God is on the end. It may not have arrived yet, but the promise will come. The second word that I want to leave with you is persistency. In another portion of scripture, the prayer warrior must keep knocking at the door until their request is granted or the door is opened. And in Matthew chapter 15, it tells us of an interesting story of a Gentile woman who came to Jesus for help because her daughter was demon possessed. And at this time in history, this woman as a Gentile had no rights whatsoever. She was outside of the covenant with the Jews that God had made. Jesus, when this woman comes, is silent. And the disciples try to turn her away uh, because she's bothering Jesus. Uh, but this woman keeps knocking. She's persistent. She pushes her way through the crowd again and she finds herself at the feet of Jesus. And she's asking again for the request. She's knocking on the door. And Jesus uh, turns round and actually says words to her that is very difficult for us to understand today because Jesus is silent. And then when he does talk, he said, this is not for you. You are a dog. Fancy being called a dog by Jesus. This woman knocks again at the door and she's basically saying, you may think I'm a dog, but I'm not going away. And yes, I may be a dog, but dogs can live on crumbs. Wow, what persistency. She comes and she says, give me a crumb and that'll be enough. So when you're looking at prayer and you're finding it difficult, don't give up when the going gets tough. Knock again. Daniel kept knocking for 40 days. Jesus kept praying for 40 days in the wilderness. Uh, and uh, then later in Gethsemane, when everybody packed in, he carried on and broke through and therefore brought us our redemption in the cross later. And Noah, he was building an ark on dry land for 120 years. And so what we see is in the Bible, there are many people who persistently had to work through situations. Three years ago, I was guiding a group of people in the garden tomb in Jerusalem. The garden was full of people. 
God was moving by his spirit. People were being healed. Others were taking communion in different parts of the garden. Suddenly, there was a vocal excitement coming from one of the groups. I went across to investigate. And as I drew near, I saw this lady with a massive smile on her face and that was coloured by a Niagara of tears running down her cheeks. I said to her, what has happened? And with joy, she said, my husband has just accepted Jesus as his saviour, and I have prayed for him for 25 years, and today God has answered my prayer. Answer to prayer can be delayed for a number of reasons, sometimes because of spiritual warfare that's going on in the heavens, or because God is working things out in a bigger way than your prayer is asking him to. And then there's other times when uh, there comes a reason why we may have to change our prayer, because we're not quite praying the right prayer to fit in with the purposes of God. And so here we have this persistency. So this morning, if you feel like in giving up, you know, then just keep going, keep knocking, keep knocking. And uh, who knows, today may be the day when the promise arrives and you have your prayer answered. The last word that I want to leave with you is faith. Just outside of Tiberias in Galilee, they have discovered one of the oldest synagogues in Israel. The synagogue is situated and built uh, uh, on, on the main uh, ancient pathway down from Nazareth to Galilee. And today they have excavated much of it. It's very fascinating to go and see what went on. But they've also built a church of unity there. And if you go into this beautiful church, you go down into the basement. And when you go into the basement, you come into a modern uh, synagogue. And as you come through the door, there is this massive picture, a most amazing picture on the wall of people. But there are no faces in the picture. In fact, the artist has taken the angle for his picture at knee level and below. So what you see in this picture are lots of different uh, pairs of feet and legs below the knee line. And then you see this arm outstretched, touching the hem of Jesus. And in that particular story that we all love, this woman who has an issue of blood, is in, she is pushing through the crowd. And she's pushing through the crowd, not only with persistency, not only with the hope of promise, but she's pressing through in faith. She's not going to give up. She's going to come through and exercise her faith. And she said in her heart, if I can touch the hem of Jesus, I will be made whole. And so Jesus, as he's standing there with lots of people thronging around, all of a sudden he feels virtue flowing from his body. Someone has touched him in faith and he stops the crowd. Who touched me? They said, oh, come on, everybody's touching you. No, 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 no. Lots of people may be touching me, but only one is touching me with faith. And so faith opens the door to the promise and in the end completes the persistency of prayer and enables you to enjoy the provision of God. And so this morning, I want to leave those three words with you. I want to encourage you, particularly you that have prayed long and through difficult circumstances. A promise is waiting. God has made a promise for you and he will keep his word and your prayer will be heard and the door will be opened. Secondly, persistency is a key to breakthrough. Just as the pain of a woman in childbirth is transcended by the joy when the child is born, so God answers prayer and the joy of his provision will be greater than the journey of difficulty you may have been in your prayer life through the period of time of asking. And then faith, of course, is the foundation for delivery. For the Canaanite woman, crumbs under the table are enough. I'm so glad today as a Christian that you're going to get more than crumbs. 
So whether your prayer is repetitious, an outstretched hand, or picking up some crumbs from under the table, or changing your prayer language, God's answer is on the way. So blessings to you today. Have a wonderful day and be encouraged and don't give up. Keep knocking.